so as a as a working DJ, I constantly play all around the world. So I have um, I need to constantly check what's going on with the music out there, you know, to get more music to play in my set. And I have to say there is a, a lot going on right now all around the world. Actually, even places that before there weren't, you know, many producers. And how do I check for new producers? Um, I get excited when people produce like five, six, seven tracks and you can actually understand that it's from that guy. You can see that it's really something going on to the developing. I mean, you can have as much talent as you want, but if you're not there in the studio constantly, hours and hours, it's your talent will not go that far as it, as it could go. I mean, you've been given a gift, you really have to work on it. And I, I'm a bit, it's, it's a bit weird when, um, when kids uh, tells me, um, oh, I want to become a DJ just because of the idea of becoming a DJ. Uh, I mean, I can see there is a lot of glamour behind it. I mean, for some DJs. And uh, the thing is that what dra drives them to become a DJ, I think it's, it's a bit wrong because it's, you don't become a DJ. You enjoy playing music or you enjoy making music and then you see what happens and actually you enjoy the result, right? Uh, even, you know, when people, some people tell me, okay, I'm going to do some tracks for your label. I'm like, I'm trying to get your sound. I'm like, I don't think it's the best way because otherwise you're kind of pushing yourself, not because you can't make it, but just because you're trying to push yourself to maybe something that you are, you know, you're not. So maybe you should do something else in, in, the, in the realm of music. And so what I'm saying, the, the best advice I think is that just go in the studio, make some music, enjoy you're by yourself with some friends, play it, dance to it. And then when you have a bunch of tracks, you stop, you listen to them and you say, oh, listen, this looks like can go this way or this, this one can go to this label and so on. I think that that should be the right process. So you have a, a free mind because I mean, after so many years making music, you kind of go to the studio, you feel the pressure, oh, you have to make the big new thing, blah, blah, blah. So it's not so genuine like before. Before you just go to the studio, you're like, oh, am I gonna play, they're gonna book me? You don't care, it's, there is nothing really happening. So it's just you, the music, and, and that's it. And I think that's, sometimes it's complicated because the business gets too much into on the way of the music, but of course, when the music you make goes out of the studio, it's music business in a way. So you have to play that game in a way. Just don't don't play too much that you know destroyed the real nature of what you're doing. That's that's. Uh...